Equivalent fractions represent the same amount of a whole, but have different numerators and denominators. To understand, let's look at these length models. Each of the three rectangles shown is the same size, so we know we are talking about the same whole. The first model is divided into two equal parts. One part is shaded, so this model represents one half. In the next model, the same size whole is divided into four equal parts, and two are shaded. This represents two fourths. In the last model, the same size whole is divided into eight equal parts, and four are shaded. This represents four eighths. You can see that the same amount of the whole is shaded in all three models. So, one half, two fourths, and four eighths are equivalent fractions. They are different ways of representing the same part of a whole. This makes sense. Fourths are smaller than halves, so it takes more fourths to equal the same area. Eighths are even smaller, so even more eighths are needed. You can find equivalent fractions by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number. For example, in this equation, the numerator and denominator of one half are both multiplied by two. The result is two fourths, which is an equivalent fraction for one half. Similarly, if we multiplied the numerator and denominator of one half each by four, we would get four eighths, the other equivalent fraction shown. Let's look at an example on a number line. These number lines show equivalent fractions. Write a multiplication equation that shows this. Well, the first number line is partitioned into thirds. One third is shaded. The second number line is partitioned into ninths. Three ninths are shaded. What can we multiply one third by to make three ninths? Well, to make ninths, each third was repartitioned into three equal parts. That means there are three times as many parts in the whole. Each piece is three times smaller. There are also three times as many parts shaded in the second number line as in the first. So multiply one times three and three times three to get three ninths. Finally, try an area model. What fraction does each model represent? How can we use multiplication to see if they are equivalent? The first model shows two fourths. In the second model, each fourth has been repartitioned into four parts. Each part is four times smaller than the first model, so the denominator is being multiplied by four. In the second model, eight parts are shaded in all. In the first model, two parts were shaded, so four times as many parts are shaded. The numerator is also being multiplied by four. The second model shows 8 sixteenths. This multiplication equation shows that these fractions are equivalent. In this video, you have used models and equations to find equivalent fractions. Thanks for watching.